Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a speed build, but it's a little bit different than a normal speed build. Um, so I saw this house on Zillow and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to recreate this house in The Sims 4. Like I have to do it because one, it was a huge, like when I say huge, this house is massive. Um, and I wanted to create it because I'm like I've not created like a massive house based on like a real house if that makes sense so I made like a, a mansion um as a build and I really didn't like it like compared to how this looks I really didn't I, the other mansion that like I built just wasn't it and the reason why I like this like it's not really a mansion per se but it is like a super large family home and I love it. Um, the house basically looked exactly, and I mean exactly like this. Like the stair area is a little different, but this is exactly how it looked. It also has like plain white windows in the back. And to me, it almost makes the house look like two different houses from both sides, but this is what it looked like. So I wanted to kind of stay true to that. Um, but also add like a little bit of my own flair to it. Um, so yeah, I, I want to know your thoughts and opinions though on this for sure. Like, should I keep it um, this way with two different windows in the front and back? Or should I choose a window style and keep that consistent throughout the entire build? Like, let me know down below what you all think. Because I kind of struggled with it. I was like, eh, I don't, I don't know. But I like the way that the black looks against this orange. Now the house that I am basing this build off of was not orange. But I thought, you know what? Let's add some color to the back because I rarely do that. I always go with a gray home, maybe a pop of blue, um, like the house next to it that I built. Um, which hopefully that video will be up soon. I don't know why I haven't edited that video, but I built that house on well I built half of it on stream on um on Twitch and I recorded the rest of it and I don't know I don't know like would people watch a full stream um if it was uploaded to YouTube I don't know so it's kind of taking me a while to actually get that video out <laughs> um so right now I'm trying to figure out um in this portion of the video what I want the uh landscaping to look like y'all I changed my mind like 15,000 times on the landscaping and I I don't know why I did that but those flowers I'm about to change them in a second then I'm change then I end up changing them back and a whole hot mess like, like this house literally took forever for me to figure out the outside which is why I was like you know what I'm gonna break this up and make it into um, a multi-part series, I guess you could say, um, based on this house. I've been calling it the orange house <laughs> for multiple reasons. So for the first reason is obviously because the house is orange. But the second reason is also that my grandmother, well, my great grandmother's last name is orange. Um, and so, you know, therefore a lot of my cousins and aunts and stuff, um, their last name is orange. And so I was, I was like, that is like, it's super cute, you know, because it's, it has dual meanings or whatever um so yeah you'll see multiple videos regarding this orange house because it's massive and it is going to take me a long time right now my idea for the type of family that is living here is i felt like you know this is like a generational type of home like i envision a um, grandma and grandpa uh who own this house and you know they've raised their families in this house or they've raised their family not their families <laughs> but they've raised their family in this house and you know maybe they're going to end up giving this house to like a family their daughter or son or you know something like that like they're going to leave it to them in a will um that's kind of my idea for the people that live here so you'll see a lot of things that like look to me at least they look pretty old um and so it's kind of also like a little 
small like oh things might need to be fixed up a little bit you know what I'm saying so like the tile you'll see it here in a second but I use this tile around the pool and to me it looks so like dingy and old and I felt like that was the perfect tile to use because it is it is definitely a tile that you would see like at your grandparents old house or something I don't know that that's kind of what I was thinking about um, with this. So there's a few things that, you know, might need upgrading or whatever. I kind of want to stick to that with this um, with this house. And so that way the storyline is, you know, if you decide to play with this house is that, you know, they they've gotten this house from their wealthy grandparents who left it to them or something like that. Or their w wealthy parents who left it to them and then they end up changing it a little bit. So that's where that's where I'm at with this house um but yeah it took me forever I mean forever like I I think my recording time for this was at least at least two hours um which for me is a long time to spend on a build but I feel like it came out so beautiful like I I am this is probably one of my favorite builds to be honest that I've ever done um and I think one thing about this build is that I actually took my time and I was actually following, you know, um, a following inspiration. Whereas with other builds, I just kind of randomly build. I don't necessarily think about things too much. I just kind of put it there and then boom, that's it. Like the house on uh, the side, this with blue house, like I feel like there's something about it that could be better potentially but you know I didn't really spend like I spent time but not a whole lot of time and effort into it but I don't know I don't know <laughs> maybe they're all great and I'm just being too hard on myself uh, but this is definitely one of my favorites and like I gave it like some old like aspects to it so I put the little bird watch um the bird feeder there and then there is a chair there also that I just like imagine like maybe the grandma comes out here and watches her birds because she's a bird lover and yeah and then I oh I love the wind chimes I thought the wind chimes were such a good idea because y'all know y'all know grandparents love them some wind chimes okay and I know at least for me my aunts and my grandparents like the older people in my family love them some wind wind chimes like they have I think almost every one of them has at least one wind chime at their house so yeah this I was trying to figure out I I was watching YouTube videos and I saw the Ligacy, uh mention that you can actually like slot the stairs into foundation like a little back and I was like what the heck like I never knew that so I just decided to put like a little bitty step or a foundation piece right there um because I just not that it needed it I just thought that was pretty cool I usually just stick with the with the um small like deck that comes with the stairs like I don't think too much about it but she had mentioned that in one of her videos and I was like huh never even knew that oh okay so here I was trying to <laughs> I wanted to put some lights because I was like, I just love these lights, to be honest. Ever since I got the toddler pack, like maybe less than a month ago, I was like, these lights are everything. But it just to me, it didn't fit the vibe. Like, I don't know. So I think I ended I ended up deleting them. And I, But I tried for a long time, <laughs> for a very long time to make it work. I think I should put some windows on this side of the house. I didn't realize how bare it looked. Like it looks, there. there's nothing there. But I also feel like there's, there's just way too many, <laughs> there's way too many windows anyways. Also, if you've no if you notice that this video quality is not the best, um, I did end up turning down my quality because I was um, having issues with OBS whenever I was trying to uh, record my screen. So I turned down the quality of my game and I also 
used um, the in-game video recording system, um, which is why um, the menu is not up on this video. But yeah, this is, I kind of just was also just playing a little bit with um, some different things throughout the process of this. And so now I'm just going in and like double checking certain things and adding some foundation paint. Um, and yeah, I think honestly, this might be the last bit um, that I, the last of what I do outside, at least I kind of kept it simple. Um, because I imagine that there's a like family dog or something um, here and like he needs space to run around or the grandkids when they come over, they need space to run around. So I didn't want to put like too much outside, you know, I wanted to keep it a little more simple and plain. Oh yeah, then I tried to like put a little walkway to um, that area where you watch the birds, but I was like, nah, that does not look good. <laughs> so I took it away. Um, but I think we're we're nearing the end of the video. I went through, made sure everything looked okay. There's a window that was clipping, so I fixed that. Oh, now I'm getting screenshots. That's definitely what I was doing, was getting screenshots. <laughs> But thank you all for watching. Um, I hope to see you in the next one. And again, just let me know if you would like to see other things from me. See ya.